Right, am I in the frame? Hi everybody, um, so I haven't posted for a really long time. Yeah. So uni has really taken over, but I managed to get some free time the other day and I went shopping with my friend Holly. Um, we actually went shopping for um, one of our society social events and ended up buying a lot more. So I had so much I thought I would just go through it all and show you. Um, so the shops I went to were New Look, H&M and Summers, not showing you my underwear but we went there, <laughs> and TK Maxx. So to begin with, I'm just jumping straight in by the way. So the first shop we went to, we went to New Look. A lot of these items by the way were £10 or under because... I'm a student now. <laughs> but anyway, so the first thing I got was for our camo um, party and it was this little skirt. It's a cute little mini skirt. It's only cost £9, which is great. Um, it's denim. Again, it's obviously camo. I just thought it was really sweet. It hits a really nice length. And yeah, I mean, can't go wrong with one of these. And then I may have gone a little bit silly in the sale section and bought things I don't actually know if I'm ever going to wear. I took two pairs of shorts into the changing room as a bit of a joke and I ended up buying these beautiful green shorts that kind of look like a skirt. They got this cute little hoop detail at the front which is absolutely adorable. By the way, I have no idea if this is blurry or not. Um, but yep, they're ridiculously comfy, so I bought those. And then I went even more out there and thought, we have parties in our flat and I want to be at these parties, but I want to be really comfortable, especially at 2am in the morning. So I went and bought some navy disco shorts. That are surprisingly really comfy on the inside, but they're all party on the outside, so it's a bit of both. And I just think these... <laughs> I, I don't know why I really liked them. And so I thought, why not? And I'm not going to wear them outside, I'm just going to wear them around my flat. When there's people over. Why not? And that is all I got from New Look, because... I didn't want to spend that much. Um, the shorts themselves were only £5 each and obviously the skirt was 9 And then we go to H&M where things start getting a little bit stupid. Um, H&M always have really good sales and I'm just checking how I'm going to hold this up. The first thing I picked up was this lace off the shoulder ribbed. I'm not going to say it's a jumper, it's just a long sleeve top because it's not thick at all um, but I really thought the lace was ridiculously pretty and so yeah it looks really sweet on and I thought it was a good staple piece to have in my wardrobe so I got that and then I got one more kind of ribbed jumper which was this one so again it's a black ribbed long sleeved Again, I'm going, I'm not going to say it's a jumper, it's just too thin. Um, long sleeve top, and it's just got this beautiful jeweling detail. So, that, that I really liked. I actually picked this up in a bigger size. Um, I picked it up in a medium, I'm normally an extra small. But I just thought that the looser fit looked a bit nicer, and this was only £4. And then, I thought to myself, I really need pretty dresses and what better way to get a pretty dress than a nice floral navy dress. I actually took this into the changing room with no intention of buying it, I just wanted to see how it looked but I just kind of fell in love. It just looks so pretty. Like I probably say that too much but it looked like the kind of thing that you could wear on a day. It's really nice. It's like bodycon, but it doesn't show you lumps and bumps, which I really like. Um, and this is actually the most expensive thing I bought, I think. 
this is this was the ten pound item, and yeah, it just fits really nicely because I'm really short, so I need shorter dresses. And got I need a velvet dress. So much in this haul is like velvet. I'm so sorry. The next item is also velvet, and it's this really cute dress. I'm just having to look around. Oh no, that is there. It's this again, it's another velvet dress that's floral patterns because apparently that's what I like. Um, it's a wrap dress which just looks so flattering. I think wrap dresses just look flattering on everyone. Um, and it's just got ties at the back. Again, it's a really nice kind of like this time it's not a bodycon, it's more of like a flowy dress, and it just looked really good on. And this was only hang on, I swear this is. Mm, yeah, this was £8 and I got this in a size 4 so I actually sized down for this one because it's wrap detail and I don't want anything falling out. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> anyway, and the final thing I got in H&M, um, we do a lot of kind of, I was going to say we do a lot of presentations um, and originally I picked this item up thinking you know it's kind of like a suit dress so I take it in I start putting it on it's absolutely gorgeous by the way I, I take it in I put it on and I realized that one it's a play suit and I've just put both my legs down one of the leg holes because um, I wondered why there was a huge hole in it <laughs> And then I realised that it was definitely not appropriate to do presentations in because it's really tight figuring, tight figuring, tight fitting and really shows off your figure. Um, but I really liked it. <laughs> so I actually ended up buying this and I've already worn it on a night out. I can't remember how much it was. Um, but again, it wouldn't have been over £10. I feel like it was 7 or 8 And I picked this one up in a 6. So I picked up my normal size. And it's, but it is, if you are, you know, afraid of deep plunges, it does have a deep plunge and your bra does show if you're dancing. I did notice that. Just a heads up. But I think that it was really nice. It looked really smart. I just loved it. <laughs> and then we go into Ann Summers. So we're on our way to TK Maxx. We run into Ann Summers really quickly. And... Um, I really wanted a new pair of pyjamas for some reason and I managed to pick these up. These cost £10 and they just say Rise and Slay. So that's the vest top and then they come with this really cute pair of shorts. Little love hearts on them. I just thought they were just the sweetest thing and I had to pick them up for that reason. And then we get to TK Maxx, and I don't, no actually, I know I don't have everything in this pile that I bought from TK Maxx. Um, I'm guessing some of it's in the wash because I have worn some of it. But TK Maxx was really interesting. I've never been into TK Maxx before, so it was my first time. And the first thing I picked up was this gorgeous jumper that is striped in its pink colours. Now, I don't suit pink. But this jumper was so soft and I really liked the stripes and the colours that I ended up picking it up. Um, and again, this one was in the sale actually and I paid £7. It's just the softest thing. And I'm sorry, I keep looking at my viewfinder. Um, it's the softest thing and it's just, it's so nice on. It's not really close fitted but it's just really nice. It's going to be so comfy as well just to lounge around doing all of my coursework that I haven't done yet <laughs> and then there is just I have a bit of an obsession for skirts so I pick up this green checkered skirt from Stradivarius again this is all in TK Maxx um, but the brand is Stradivarius and I picked this up in a size 6 yeah, I pick it up in a size 6 and it's just got this really nice kind of pleather stripe across, it's not even a stripe, it's kind of like it's pointing, it's a wonky stripe, hmm, <clears throat> anyway I just think that that really suited me, I just thought it was really sweet and it's just, 
like picture this with black jumper, black tights, pair of boots or heels. You need this. You need it. Okay. I needed it. <laughs> and apparently I also needed t-shirts to go with it. So of course I picked up this Zara t-shirt that um, is black with hang on so it's got these at the side which are really cool and you tie them into a bow or a knot or whatever you want to tie them into and then it says self-confidence is my best accessory and I sometimes really struggle with my confidence but other times I just appear I'm, I'm not big-headed I'm just self-confident I just have my days where you feel amazing and I'm sure some of you may know what I mean, like you wake up and you feel really good and on those days I just want to pick up this and just be like, I'm wearing it, I'm gonna own it. But I just thought, you know, you can't go wrong. And this was only 3 I mean, come on. So I have a t-shirt for 3 that's really comfy and really soft. Yes, please. And then I picked up one more Zara, um, t-shirt and this is actually from their knit collection it's purple I was about to say it's pink it's purple it's like a lilac um, and it's got all these ruffles all the way down which I just think are really I'm gonna say it it's really cute okay it looks like something you'd stick a five-year-old or an eight-year-old in but no me being 21 definitely had to have this um, but at the end it's like really glittery which I adore um, and yeah Again, lilac isn't really in my colour palette because it doesn't really suit me, but this is £3.99 and I really needed it, or wanted it, and decided to get it. <laughs> okay, and then, and then I kind of have in my head about going on holiday at some point. That's my excuse for buying this anyway, because this is really out there. Um, I bought a few kind of trousers from Stradivarius and this is one of them. I don't have the others with me, but these wide leg trousers that are definitely too long on me and need to be taken up. Um, just, they're gonna look so nice on holiday, on a beach or walking around like an old cobblestone town. And they've got these really nice orange, is that a green one? There's an orange and green stripe all the way down the leg, which I feel like elongates them. And then the waist cinches in, which is going to be really good if you eat something. But I just, oh, they're so nice. Um, I picked these up in an extra small. Um, yeah, a little bit out there, but I love them. And then there's only two more things left. Who's driving outside? There's only two left, other things left to show that I have with me. Um, but one of them, again, Stradivarius. Apparently, that's a brand that I love. Um, I picked up a really nice bodysuit for 5 dollars which is this one. It's blue and floral. Apparently, I like blue and I like floral clothing. But it's just a really nice piece. It's kind of like knotted at the front with like a plunge. Um, again, it's bodysuit, so it's really sweet, but it's not a thong one, and I hate the thong bodysuits. <laughs> like, I know so many people like them, but I just don't. Like, I just want to be really comfortable, and I just thought this is like a really nice sweet top. And my friend said that this looks like the kind of top you'd wear on a first date, where you kind of want to look really nice, and... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just really liked it. It's really fitted, which I like. I like clothes that fit to my body. And it wasn't, like, the line actually comes up to there, so it doesn't actually show anything, which, again, I like. So, obviously, I had to buy it. <laughs> and then, finally, um, the other day, I had to take a few things back um, because I stupidly picked them up without trying them on, and they weren't the same size that was on the labels so some were too big and something still had the security label attached um but on my way i went back into h&m because why not and i picked up this beautiful shirt which 
again I'm in love with and it's kind of like the thing that's casual but smart and you can kind of turn it into either a day outfit, a night outfit, professional meeting outfit and I just oh, I love like the polka dots they just make it and oh, I really like it I really like this piece it's not overly fitted um, it's kind of boxy especially on me um, I got like a really like my shoulders go like this and then my waist goes so on me it just kind of drops but I don't really mind that especially for like meeting kind of things um, but in this one I picked it up in a six did I pick it up in a six or actually I think I picked it up in a size bigger yeah I picked this up in an eight um, and it was five pound which come on that's a bargain but I love the stripes I love the polka dots and I just think that it's something I'm going to get a lot of use out of bit of a weird cut there but um, I just had to show you the other things that I got because I completely forgot about them um, TK Maxx they also do kind of beauty products and cosmetics um, and I love my beauty products so much that <laughs> When I saw Anastasia Beverly Hills, I kind of went a little bit wild. Um, I actually ended up, I had so, I picked up so much and I ended up putting them all back. I was like, Laura, you don't need them. But the one thing I decided I did need was this lip lipstick and it cost me 9 99 and it's in the colour Bread, which is just, it's this gorgeous brown. I don't know if my camera's going to focus. I just wanted to see. Come on. It does not want to at all. That's not gonna work. We're just gonna pretend it's gonna work. But I just think that it's a really beautiful colour and I cannot wait to wear it because I'm going to get so much use out of it. And then there was there's like this section where they have things that people have touched or a, a little bit damaged and um, there was this MAC one of their is that a MAC? Oh, there's a MAC lipstick and I can't undo it basically I paid a fiver for this lipstick that looks completely tacky um, but it's a MAC lipstick I'm just going to rip the box oh, I hate ripping boxes it's like my biggest oh it's not, it's not a pretty box anyway, that's what I'm going to keep telling myself. So I picked up this and it's in the colour Bold Spring. If you know what this colour is, you'll know what's about to happen. But um, it's this gorgeous, I don't even know if this is pink or purple, it's in between. And it's just so pretty. Again, I don't think this is focusing. I don't know. But I just thought for kind of like neon parties and whenever you want to be a little bit more fun with your look it's gonna do so well and then I picked up two kind of everything is lip products for cosmetics um, because I can always justify those but I picked up this incredible um, lip set which costs 6 99 and it's got I just dropped the other one on the floor it's got a lip quencher, a glipper lip topper and a strobe lip gloss and these are one of the ones that have flowers in it. Um, that's just kind of like really sparkly and again there's another really sparkly red and I actually got this just for the sparkly red. Um, and Holly also got one of these as well so... But yeah, and then I picked up this one which is Profusion Cosmetics Lip To Go. Um, and this I picked up for these two here for the lip pencil and like the lip cream um, I'm not a big fan of the glitter The one that has glitter on this one just isn't as nice as this one um, So I don't know I'll probably end up giving that one away and keeping this one, but I just thought I Needed them both and this was only 4 99 so again, absolute bargains. And that was everything I got. Well, everything I have here to show you that I can actually show you. Yeah. 
So, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will try and upload more. I am trying, it's just a little bit difficult with uni at the moment, but I am coming up to my summer break, so that should be okay, and I just scratched myself. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do you still give it a thumbs up? I'm pretty sure you... Mm. If you like this video, give it a like, um, and if you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe, subscribe, turn on the notifications, because you're probably going to need them with me. Yeah, and hopefully there'll be another video up soon. I really hope so. But until then, see you soon.